skills let me know what character you are going to play in the comments down below and don't forget to hit that like button the characters in For Honor are all super different in terms of weapons, skills, moves and feel. It's super important to know what you're up against and even more important what character you are going to play as. So let's start with the most balanced character in the game. The Warden. The Warden is your typical knight, a good balance between attack and defense. He has not a lot of moves, but the ones that he has are easy to do and pretty straightforward. Like a shoulder bash after a light attack and two light attacks to harass the opponent. The Raider is a deadly viking that strikes with his huge axe. His range is long, his attacks take some time to do, but when they hit, they come in very hard. He's also very good at grabbing people and throwing them on the ground or even better, against the wall for a huge stun. When your enemy is stunned, just finish them off with a heavy attack. The Kensei is your long sword samurai that, just like the Raider, has a good range to hit enemies from afar. A lot of strategies revolve around a top heavy attack finisher that can be blocked if you use it in a chain combo. The armor of the Kensei is also really strong, making it a good damage dealer and a tank. The Knight Peacekeeper keeps you at peace with two small blades and high mobility. The idea is to know when to strike at the right time, you have to block when the enemy strikes and then counter them with a swift attack. It's also smart to attack when you see your enemy use a heavy attack. You're way faster so you will stop them in the process. There are three For Honor characters with shields and the Viking Warlord is one of them and it's also his best weapon. Block your enemies and then counter them with your small sword. Use the environment to your advantage to throw people off the wall or against it. The Warlord can also sustain a lot of damage from multiple enemies at the same time in full block mode. That protects him from all sides. A spear is even more rare than a shield in For Honor. The Samurai Noboshi is the only character at launch with a two-handed spear to hit the enemies from afar and kill multiple AI-controlled knights in the Dominion mode at the same time. His strong kick knocks enemies away and the Noboshi can then hit them with a long range heavy attack. Are you more the close range type of player? Well then you might like the Viking Berserker. Just like the Peacekeeper, the Berserker has to be close but can interrupt enemies that have a slow heavy attack and then change their combos for a lot of damage. A good Berserker can do unstoppable damage to an enemy without them being able to do anything in return. And that's really awesome. Not if you're like against the Berserker but if you are one obviously. Another tanky character just like the Warlock is the Knight Conqueror. With both strong defense and heavy hits, the Conqueror is a deadly character. Make also use of the environment. With its shield throw, you can grab enemies and then hit them with your flail. Yeah, that's your weapon. Use the full block mode for incoming attacks and cut their head off while you are still full health. My personal favorite is the Samurai Orochi, a swift assassin that has a longer range than the Berserker and the Peacekeeper, but also a deadly parry. Reaction is a key for a good counter attack and to interrupt the enemies, but also dodging is smart to then follow up with a charge and an attack. The shield character with the longest range is the Viking Valkyrie. With the spear it's good versus AI enemies in the Dominion mode and she's also good for a charge attack at a longer range. Push away the enemy and then hit them with the spear. It's really hard to get near the Valkyrie. Oh yeah, and she can also use their head as a weapon. Ugh, that must hurt. Just like the weapon of the Samurai Shugogi. He will go through soldiers like they are not there and the Kanobo, his weapon, can also be used as a baseball bat to home run an enemy. Not really good in defense, but extremely powerful in the offense. You really need to master the Shikogi, and when you do, the enemies will fear you. Last but not least is the Knight Lawbringer. With a huge pole axe and super strong armor, his heroes go onto the battlefield. Yes, the attacks are slow, but when they hit you, the enemies will really feel it. The AI soldiers in the Dominion mode fear the Lawbringer, but so should anyone. This really looks like a boss on the battlefield. Super awesome. That's it, all the four honor characters at the launch of the game, but there will be more. I already discussed.